Now, <clears throat> what is the, ul the ultimate speed limit for broadband internet, uh, internet? Now, there are three components that goes into this. It's a terminal band with capacity of optical fibers, the ability to route packets of data at ultra high speed, and the economics. Now, uh, in this talk, I'll just concentrate on the terminal bandwidth capacity of optical fiber. Now, the terminal, uh, the theoretical limit of data trans transmission is known as the Shannon limit for optical fiber. Basically, it's a, it's, a, it's a maximum rate at which the signal, which is a bandwidth, can, stay, can, can be sent over the optical fiber, fiber with zero error from the noise. Now, in 1998, the widely accepted upper theoretical limit for the industry standard of single mode optical fiber was thought to be about 400 gigabits per second, and the practical limit was about 100 gigabits. That is using 40 channels of fiber, each one uh, operating at 2.5 gigabits per second. Today, that seems laughable, uh, as we've got single-threaded single -threaded transmission at 10 gigabits in enterprise-grade uh, equipment. And the current deployment are in multiple channels of 100 gigabits. So in 1998, we had about 40 channels, each one at 2.5 gigs. Now we've got a single channel that actually produces, uh, that can transmit data at 100 gigabits. Now that's a, a leap, a huge leap. Now, the current no-no, this is the real limit thought. Uh, thought is that it's about 500 terabits without, with some vendors uh, postulating about 100 terabits system soon. Now, in 2014, uh, Alcatel and PT reported the fastest ever broadband speed of 1.4 terabits per second during their joint test, enough to send 44 uncompressed high-definition high definition films a second over existing broadband fiber cables over 410 kilometers. Now, so just to bring back to what we actually as CSR intend to contribute uh, to increase the internet broadband speed, in roughly, I'll show you, we intend to actually increase the broadband speed by just transmitting computer codes, the binary codes, in bits. Now, if you look at uh, what I showed previously, is that you have, we can have a computer wanting to sec send multiple data. We want to be able to have a, a novel transmitter whereby it will take each binary code and actually assign it a certain value, or electrical current or voltage, and it will be sent into a digital laser source. Now, digital laser source should be able to distinguish which electrical so uh, current it comes in and be able to give it uh, a different shape when it's coupled into a fiber. And, you, and after that, we actually have what we call our molar decomposition detector. We should be able to receive the data through a fiber and be able to assign back the same value as there and be able to send it through so that the person at the monitor can actually see what's going on. Now, this is a, a new way of thinking of it in a sense that instead of sending inf information in bits, we actually reprocess it first before we send it through a fiber in bit format. Now we can actually increase this, uh, the, the brand, because this will actually automatically increase the bandwidth. Now we can actually add an extra fiber. Let's assume now you can change the wavelength to maybe let's say from one micron to five micron, depending on what wavelength we're intending to. Thereby you can actually increase the bandwidth. So this will probably increase the bandwidth by more than a factor of seven in this case, if you can just get it to work. <clears throat> now, in conclusion, what is the ultimate speed for broadband internet? Uh, the short answer is no one knows for sure, and every guess is always wrong. I thank you. <laughs>